Hello and welcome to Edito 2.0. The other day I was on Thingiverse looking at articulated things and I found this awesome lobster crayfish guy. And when I went to bed that night, I seriously could not get it out of my head. I had dreams. <laughs> I thought that today would be the perfect time to take those dreams and turn them into reality. Let's make a lobster. My neighbors complained. So, he's already looking pretty sweet. I have been told that there are fairly detailed instructions. Uh, obviously, I haven't looked at them because I don't use instructions. Where's the fun in that? Learning by doing, everyone. Learning by doing. Okay, so we have legs, arms, and stuff. I never thought I would have to think about lobster anatomy so much. His tail, that's the tasty part. I see a bunch of small holes in all the pieces. I think that that's because you use a piece of... That is to hold the pieces together with a piece of filament. And therefore I am prepared with a piece of filament. Look at that. Look at how prepared I am. I think we're gonna start by organizing it. So, a lobster has what, four legs, eight, six legs? I guess he has six legs and two arms. He has eight legs? Eight legs and two arms? Lobsters have eight legs? I feel like I have to Google that later. Well, he has eight arms, eight legs, uh, and his legs have like half balls on the... I'm assuming that it goes ball to flat and then ball to flat so that it keeps the spacing a little bit even. So if we just organize it... Wait. This feels like a cognitive puzzle. Which one is the what side? Okay. Ah, and that's right, lobster feet. The, the ones in the front have like tiny little pinchers and the ones in the back are like the stabbing so, wow, this is anatomically quite accurate. I'm making an anatomically correct lobster. I never thought I'd be saying that. Actually, what would an anatomically correct lobster look like? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Ah! Eh, right. We've laid out all of our legs so that the balls are facing up. The ball joints are facing up. And now I'm assuming everything has to fit into this shell. So if we start by the face, push his face all the way up in, and then I guess this goes on the bottom like that. Oh, we have to start with his arms. Okay, put the arm in there. Easy, easy. And that side's in there. Oh, okay. I see, I see. All right. And then if we take the first set of, take the first set of legs, we can put it in like that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and then the second set goes right behind that, ball to flat, ball to flat. Other one, ball to flat. <gasps> oh my god, this is so easy. Ball to flat. <laughs> and then the last one. Wait. Wait, is that, that was so easy. What? How is that so easy? Oh my god. That is, that is awesome. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. And I guess this is like a spacer, so we just shove that in there. And then I guess his lobster butt goes in there. Oh, <gasps> we have to, oh, now we can make the lobster tail. Wait, so we'll put his body over there. I'm guessing that these go up or down in size, you know, cause it's like a lobster goes like that. They get like bikini body. A lobster with a bikini body. Wow, I'm really I'm really into lobsters, I guess. So they do go up in size, they get slightly bigger. And then I guess you just take it and shove a piece of filament through the hole. There's one. Cut that off. 
two, three. Oh my God, this is so easy. I feel like this is the easiest thing to put together ever. And then the last one. <laughs> I didn't have to take the tail. I had to take his tail. The last little piece. <laughs> Look at that! And then we just take that and we just stick his butt in the back like there and it kind of wedges in. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome. And then we have his arms and I guess his arms, oh, his butt just fell out. I guess we just do the same thing with the arms. Take a piece of filament, shove it through there. Chop it off. Do the same with the other one. Shove it through there. And chop it off. And then the same with the front ones. That is so awesome. This is so easy. This is like made for a stupid person like me. <laughs> oh, no, his legs! No! He lost his legs. Oh no, I put the right, wait, 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 what have I done? I didn't follow my ball rule. Wait, no, where's his face? No, his face fell out. Can I get that in the front? No, do I have to take those all out? No, come on, no, you were so easy. Why is this suddenly hard? Okay, no, I put his face upside down. Can I twist it? No. I feel like a child crying because my toy fell apart. Put the spacer inside. Oh, he's missing his face stuff. I didn't put his antennas. There's like the side which was printed. I'm gonna put that on the inside and I'll put the nice side on the outside. And then he has these little like teeth of the things that like... Put those on the bottom. No, his arm just fell out. Stop falling apart. This is too good to fall apart. Is... No! Again? Much, much, much later. Oh my god, that is so damn cool. <laughs> Look at his cute little face. Oh, his arm fell off again. <laughs> this is an adorable little project. I am definitely gonna have to find other projects like this one. He has so much personality. I think he needs a name. What should we name him? Comment below if you have name ideas. But until then, I think I will call him Bob. Get it? Bob the Lobster? Uh, uh, uh. Clever, no? Hi, Bob, how's it going? Uh, it's good, how are you? Oh, I'm not, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, do you have something you want to say to everybody? Uh, oh, uh, uh, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.